until Syracuse makes the first field goal per tradition. But it will be Georgetown to start with the ball. Jamie Lucky, Jeffrey Clark, and Brian O'Connell, today's officiating crew. The Hoyas out of the Big East, the Orange in their traditional 2-3 zone out of the ACC. How much fun is this, partner? Uh, it is Georgetown, it is Syracuse. And it is Primo Spears. And a quick pass from Heath up ahead. Landon Murray with a strong drive. And the follow is there for Spears for Syracuse. They are closing out this first half in style. Trail by as many as 11. Spears off balance, floats it in. And goes down and misses two shots from about four feet away. He only averages one. He said it to us yesterday. So Chris Bell and Benny Williams just have to rebound so many different things, but that was clearly one. Do you feel that it's been called less since the first couple of weeks? Yes. And I'm okay with that, too, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Spears and Edwards, Primo Spears, is still very much alive because we talked with him yesterday about his intramural unbeatable formation in six-man intramural football. And then he said, of course, being an elite-level athlete, I was four to shoot for Taylor, the freshman from Charlottesville. And that didn't draw the iron. Georgetown will take it right before a shot clock violation would have been called. Spears pull up. And scores. A foul again this afternoon. Primo Spears completes a 346 and 42. One a few more than Big John. John Thompson, the third, is son, a key part of this rivalry as well. Took the Hoyers to the final four. And now Patrick Ewing, who was 8 and 3 as a player against Syracuse, 2 and 3 as a head coach. His Hoy is trying to get back into it with Spears, who slithers in and scores. Starting to see some point correction now for both teams. Bayhawks career last year. Georgetown had the second worst winning percentage in program history. Free throws for Primo Spears. He's got CC Network Syracuse hosts Monmouth at 7 Easter. Third meeting.